Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. Well, happy Tuesday, everybody. How are you doing? Be a little chill, be a little low energy, uh, at least until... At least until we look at that GTA 6 trailer, I have a feeling that's going to energize me with the power of the Florida ban. Which we'll probably take a look at that before we uh, before we get Quest in here. Um, I've been dying to watch it, and I was like, well, I have to solo stream tomorrow because Kyle's got jury duty. That's where Kyle is, by the way. If you're tuning into the stream and you're not in our Discord or you're not following the Garrett and Kyle Twitter account, which you should be doing both, by the way. But... Um, if you're wondering where the hell Kyle is, he he got he's legit got jury duty, and he's at the courthouse today, so he's doing his civic duty. Um, hopefully, uh, they'll take one look at him and listen to his ramblings about Allegans and think that he's unfit for such duty. But uh, until they eject him for being an Allegan conspiracist, we're flying solo. We need to watch the GTA trailer because I haven't seen it yet. Man, it takes place in Vice City, which is fictional Florida in Grand Theft Auto. I live in Florida. I was born in Florida. I love my state, despite all of the reasons not to love my state. <laughs> I love my state. I like this weird place. Uh, so I want to see uh, how GTA is uh, poking fun at it. It's very easy to make fun of Florida. So let's let's take a look. Let's judge. But first, I need to become... I need to become... What I already am. Ugh. I need to become Florida man. Ugh, so just let me, uh, let me Florida man up. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. I heard some asshole leaked this. Probably lives in Florida. We got a lot of scumbags living here. All right, let's take a look. At what Grand Theft Auto has in store for us? Can you can you see anything salacious in my in my lenses? Anything at all? No, can't see my Ustola wallpaper. Wonderful. That's a joke. I don't actually have a Ustola wallpaper. All right, all right. Let's take a look. What's going on with Grand Theft Auto? How's this, how's this volume? I should have tested this. Need some sound. Oh, that's looking okay. I can bring it down a bit. Yeah. You know what? I love it, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, I like this. Damn. This is in game? Holy shit. This looks great. Oh, damn, we get to go to the keys? I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, they're doing takeovers. Don't do takeovers. Takeovers are really stupid. Oh, my word. All right, got some, like... Yeah. <laughs> this this does look like East Coast Florida. Oh, we got some Central Florida too going on. Holy shit, that looks incredible. What a great logo. Okay. Yeah, that looks sick. So I uh I love Grand Theft Auto. I freaking love Grand Theft Auto. Uh, we don't really... It doesn't come up very often because I feel like... The, there's no point. There's no point to exclaim 
that you love Grand Theft Auto. It's just kind of a, I mean, it's, it's such a massive piece of pop culture. Like, I don't think it says much about, I don't, I don't think it's a, a massive uh, uh, display of one's personality to know that they like Grand Theft Auto. It's kind of like saying, I don't know, like you like the Godfather or something. It's like, of course you do. Everybody likes it. Who, who doesn't? Yeah, like saying you like pizza. Like, who doesn't like pizza? However, much like pizza, you probably have a preference as to how you like your pizza. And I definitely have a preference to how I like my Grand Theft Auto. And my favorite Grand Theft Auto of all goddamn time is Vice City. I love Vice City. Played the shit out of it when I was probably younger than I should have been playing Vice City. When did Vice City come out? Let's see. GTA Vice City release date. 2002. Okay, I was prob- I was about at an appropriate age. I would have been 15 in 2002. Do the math. I'm getting old. Um, but so I would have been getting to the point where it was uh, not so questionable that I was playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, I loved it. I played the absolute crap out of it. Uh, Systems-wise, from the original suite of, of GTA 3 games, which is GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Systems-wise, San Andreas, bar none. That's the most fun of those. Of, uh, it's just fun to play. The game systems were the best. Uh, the, the, the world was huge. But um, look, 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 look at me. I live here. Look, look, look at this. Where was it? Right here. This. I freaking... I've, I've been here. I've been to the Everglades. I just drove through this last week for Thanksgiving. Uh, flamingos are super rare. I've never seen a flamingo in the wild in Florida. But uh, but I have uh, I have been to the Everglades many, many times. If I want to go to the east coast of Florida, which is where this is definitely taking place because this is Miami as fuck, I have to drive through the Everglades. Um, God, yeah, that just that just looks like where I live. Um, I live west coast, but we have like St. Petersburg has sections that look like this. Uh, there's a, a small section if you kind of knock off all these sky rises on the left and right. There's a small section of Sarasota that kind of has this vibe. Like this, this is this is home to me. Uh, this is quintessential e- uh, East Coast Florida. All of this Art Deco looking stuff on the side here. I mean, this is Miami as as can be. Um, DJs, yeah. East Coast, especially Miami, um, it's a little vapid. <laughs> it's a little vapid. It, there are, in fact, there's a lot of strip clubs. There's a lot of, like, kind of snobby nightclubs. But this, this, this I didn't think about. This hits me right in my, my favorite thing about Florida, which is, like, the saltwater and, and very, very, very specifically the Florida Keys. Um, my parents, uh, they, they used to rent an RV and they would drive me down. I was in Key West when I was like six months old. That's the first time I ever went to the Keys. There's a photo of me like in a diaper uh, on the beach in one of the Keys. I'm not sure if it was actually Key West, but they, they'd, they used to rent an RV and go down there. And eventually, you know, they started, you know, doing the business started doing better. They started getting hotel rooms and eventually condos. But um, yeah. I didn't think about going to the Keys. Holy shit. Grand Theft Auto's version of the Keys. What? This is just so realistic. Like, that's that's what a... Li- oh, oh, shit. This is... So, it looks like they're doing a small version of the Seven Mile Bridge. Um, if you actually drive down to the Keys, which Katie and I do every July, we go down to... Uh, our eventual stopping point is Key West. Uh, every freaking July, we go down. And there is a seven-mile bridge. Um, and, uh, let's see. Seven-mile bridge. If you've seen the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, True Lies, as I stifle a burp, they blow up the seven-mile bridge. It is a real bridge. It is actually seven miles long. Uh, here we go. And that's, that's what it looks like. There's this little tiny island along the way. So on the right here, this is the old Seven Mile Bridge, which is in disrepair and kind of falling into the ocean. And on the left is the new up-to-date, this is what you actually drive on with your car. The old Seven Mile Bridge is maintained up to this island as a walking bridge, and also you're allowed to fish off of it. So, oh, you can't see anything, can you? 
The one on the right, that's the old bridge. One on the left, that's the new bridge. That's what you actually drive on. And it looks like they're actually doing that here. They've, they've got, but it's just shorter. And it looks like they're not putting an actual seven-mile bridge in the game. But that's definitely what this is based on. Because you can see that there's a bridge beside another bridge. And it's broken in places. And that's exactly, exactly how the, uh, the seven-mile bridge is. So this is cool. This is very neat. That's that's rad. Um, I'm getting a lot of like ladies in bikinis. <laughs> I can't. I gotta miss this. Gator in the pool. Uh, oh, this shit. Uh, is this a thing where y'all live? Is our take? This is called a takeover in in car culture. This is this is this is called a takeover. And it's a problem in a lot of places. It's particularly bad in the Southeast right now. Atlanta's having a lot of issues with it. Um, Tampa's having a lot of issues with it. And other major cities in Florida are having issues with it. Where usually, I'm like, I don't want to throw a whole generation under the bus because everyone's not all the same age. But usually younger kids with cars uh, will just block an intersection and do donuts. And crowds will gather. And people will, will film with their phones and usually people get hurt and run over because uh, this is dangerous and it's usually being done by people who are a little on the younger age and maybe don't know how to control a car so well so um yeah yeah these are dumb and uh, it's been a real issue in the car community the, if you were like me and you watch a lot of videos about car culture uh, a lot of the more successful car youtubers <laughs> have been kind of doing psas Telling people to cut this shit out because uh, it's really causing the police to crack down um, and just kind of making a bad rep. Bad rep for, for car culture all around because people are getting hurt. It's Even if no one gets hurt, it's massively illegal, dangerous, and disrupts the flow of traffic. So it's dumb. It's very dumb. Um, but makes perfect sense for something as socially crass as Grand Theft Auto to include it because... Uh, Grand Theft Auto don't care. You shouldn't uh, murder people and rob banks, but that's what you do in Grand Theft Auto. So it makes complete sense. Man, this... God dang, this looks like Florida. Like that? I've, I've had a neighbor like that. Dude in Speedo watering his lawn. Like We used to make mud pits when I was in high school. Uh, uh, eventually, I lived out in the middle of nowhere, uh, and my friends that had uh, that lived out in the middle of nowhere, we would just make mud pits. Uh, we used to, we, I was always in a garage band, so we would usually throw a show and have local bands come and play. Uh, and a mud pit would always eventually happen because we were out in the middle of nowhere. Um, so yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a pretty accurate representation. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's a low hanging fruit. That is just straight up. Almost looks like the, uh, the Florida man Twitter account. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a we got a Bonnie and Clyde situation going on. I assume these are the two playable characters. Uh, this is the one where they said they were they were going down to only two playable characters, right? Man, this looks good. And there's been no news about it hitting PC like simultaneous day one release, but like this looks so good that if like this is what it's gonna look like on console, like damn. Like absolute like look at that lighting. It's fantastic. What I really can't get over is this shit. Like the water. I know water is always the th first thing everyone, you know, is like, ooh, ah, how amazing. But that that's a Fort Lauderdale beach or I guess Miami. There's too many high rises. That's definitely Miami. I usually go to Fort Lauderdale. Miami's a little crazy for my taste. I went there a few times in college for like local Comic Cons and stuff. And Miami's just, it's a lot. I'm not really, not really my speed. But God dang, that looks like they nailed it. That is East Coast Florida. Oh, man, I cannot wait to drive an airboat. I love airboats. This too. I saw people screen capping this and being like, ooh, ah. And I was like, I mean, I've seen buildings and games before, but that, that like, blinking, you miss it. Like, that looks, that, that looks like B roll of Florida. Told me that wasn't a video game. I'd believe you. <laughs> Making it rain Mondays. Oh, yeah. 
I'll be uh, that'll be the name of our Grand Theft Auto podcast that we'll do every Monday. We'll call it Making It Rain Monday. And uh, and yeah, CSI Miami intro. I've never watched CSI in my life, but uh, I believe you. I believe you. The cars look great. That is a wonderful um, unofficial Porsche. Oh shit! Is that make that a little bigger? Oh geez, too big. Oh, no. It kind of looks like an 86, but I think they're going for something much more exotic. But that kind of looks like old FRS BRZ headlights. But then you've got this big thing here, and that trunk line's a little too long. So they're going for something rear-engined. Gorgeous retro Ferrari over there. Looks like we're doing a Dodge Challenger knockoff. Because GTA has never had licensed cars. So... And I would have to, yeah, I see you, Crit, in chat talking about it. Surprised they are not trying to get, I'm sure they've tried. I cannot imagine any car manufacturer wants to be affiliated with car theft. <laughs> like, I, I, I have to imagine uh, actual car manufacturers are fairly uninterested on top of the fact that it's wildly expensive. Um. And, and then with that, too, you have to, like, lock down that license in perpetuity uh, because if it runs out, then you can't, like, sell the game anymore. Like, licensing is a nightmare. It happens with music a lot. Like, games get pulled a lot because their music licensing ran out. Um, it's very rare that it happens with cars, but it just it just makes it more expensive. My freaking Gator coming into a convenience store. This looks incredible. This looks so good. I never thought to myself, hmm, maybe I'll stream Grand Theft Auto, but, like, this looks this is so right up my alley. I really enjoy Grand Theft Auto and this is this is just Florida AF. God damn. That, that's a good logo. Got to wait more than a year for it though. Ugh. Rough. And who who wants to bet that this gets pushed? Kind of kind of seems like a a high likelihood that this game, you know, maybe doesn't make whatever its initial release date ends up being. So, but th- this looks absolutely incredible. Uh, hats off to you, Rockstar. You've done it again. Uh, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna just make one Grand Theft Auto every ten years and change, uh, you're doing it right. You're putting in the effort. This this looks f- high fidelity enough to to last a long time. <laughs> God, <sighs> yeah, this is Florida as hell. Um, all right, I rate this extremely accurate. Florida accuracy. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Make it part of Garrett's Florida Man Fridays. Oh, we could do that. Or Florida Man Mondays, you know. Florida, and we got to play with alliterations somehow, right? Yeah, so you got to play off the F for the M. So, 10 out of 10 gators. Yeah, those are some good gators. Those are some damn gators. Damn good gators. Florida Friday. Yeah, we could do it. We could do it. We'll just start a... Uh, and I mean, Kyle will live here, and I feel like after a year, we can call him a uh, a uh, honorary Florida man. I mean, he his his degree is from a, a major Florida university, so yeah, he can already claim it if he really wants to. I'm not sure he really wants to. 